In this video, I want to give you a little tour of our brand new power looks, our color grading presets for DaVinci Resolve. Basically, this is just the easiest way to add style to any video that you're working on. Saves a lot of time and energy. I think it's pretty great. So here we have a project where Sam's making some ice cream and we haven't done any color grading on this yet. The one thing I'm going to do is make sure that I have color management on. This is really important for color grading anyway, but it's especially important for using these power looks. So I'm going to go to my timeline, right click on it, go to timelines, timeline settings, and make sure under color here, we might have to uncheck use project settings. We have DaVinci YRGB color managed, uncheck automatic color management, and select color processing mode HDR DaVinci wide gamut intermediate. This is what these presets are designed to work under. And so let's make sure that's good. We'll hit OK. And that'll give us color managed footage, which means that we're not looking at a log image. We're looking at this with a color transform on it. And so it's been converted to look decent on the screen. This is just with the Resolve color management. Now, once we have this set up, we can use our power looks. So when you buy our power looks, you're going to have the power looks themselves, as well as a collection of how to videos, which goes a little bit deeper than I'm going to go in this video on how to use these in the very best way. But when you download that power looks zip file, you'll get a collection of .drx files. These are what's called power grades for DaVinci Resolve. In the color page under our gallery, when we right click and grab a still, it's saved here as not only an image, but a color grading preset. And so that's really what these looks are. So I'll get rid of this. And to install these in Resolve, all we do is grab these DRX files and just drag them into our stills gallery, just like that. And then it'll populate our gallery with these stills, and we'll be able to use these to stylize our footage. And applying this is really simple. All you have to do is just take it and drag it over into the node graph, and that will apply that style. But what I would recommend doing is adding this to a group. So what I like to do is click down here in the clips and then hit control A to select all of our clips in our project. And then we can right click anywhere and go up to add into a new group. And we'll call this power look just like that and hit OK. What that's going to do is throw these all into a shared group. And so not only can we click on a shot and adjust its colors like normal, but we could go up here to where it says clip and now we have this drop down menu and we can select group post clip. And this is going to give us a node graph that is shared in between all of our clips. And so if I make this really pink, all of our clips turn pink. These are also highlighted in yellow. And so any of these yellow nodes in the group post clip are shared in between each of our clips. And we can still go back to our clip nodes and adjust each clip separately. So what I like to do is take advantage of this, go to our group post clip, like this. Let's just reset all our grades and we can grab any of these power looks and just drag them in here to the group post clip. So let's take this clean machine, drag this over. And what that's going to do is add this style to everything in the group. And so now we have a pretty darn good looking image just right out of the box. Look at that. That really kind of cleans this up, adds some nice saturation contrast and takes this from looking fine to looking really good. And there are eight different styles. This one clean machine is a great one to start with because it just kind of enhances what's there. But if we want a little more character, we can use one of these cinematic presets. We have a teal and orange preset because that's uh, pretty popular. We also have our sunshine, which is a little bit warmer, our epic black and white, which does some interesting things with the color tones to make certain things brighter and certain things darker. Cool cat, which is more of a bluish tone and then vivid, which is just kind of a really strong saturated look. There's a good variety of looks here and they're all subtle enough and tasteful enough to work on pretty much any project. That's the thing is you can get a package of 200 LUTs and 190 of them will be useless. I've been color grading for a long time. And one of the big things that I've learned is you don't use a lot of those really fancy looks. You really use the looks that enhance your image in a tasteful way. And that's exactly what these are designed to do. The other thing that's really cool is you can double click on this group and you can dissect exactly how we made these. You can turn on or off certain aspects of this look. You can select this node and go to our key output gain right here and kind of adjust the strength of the look, or you can open it up and adjust the strength of only part of the look. And so you can customize this to your liking and you can also kind of break this down and learn a little bit about how to make your own looks. So these are top notch, really useful color grading presets that work beautifully in DaVinci Resolve. They're designed to enhance your shots for any project. They work in the free version of Resolve. It's kind of just good all around. And that's the kind of stuff that we like to make. So if you're interested, there is a link down below and you can get that right now. Thanks for watching.